Assalamualaikum and hello YouTube. My name is Nur Muhammad from Any Watch and I'm back with another five best straps for this awesome watch. This is the Tudor Black Bay 58. So this is a watch that is on loan from my buddy Mr. WK at chrono.path on Instagram. Right. So I've at this point in time I'm not really sure whether I've done a full review or not for this particular watch. So depending on the where when I um I I produced this, I published this video on YouTube, but still, you have an awesome, awesome watch with the dimension of 39mm in diameter and 48mm in luck to, from luck to luck, and just 12mm in thickness and 20mm luck, with making it one of the most versatile uh, watch ever, right? So, so I have a few selections here, five straps from blueshockstraps.com for you guys to see. And first up is this, I think they call this a quick release uh, strap. I can't remember, but still, it is a featuring their canvas of or this their nylon uh, strap, but they are they are both stitched together. And we have quick release pins at the back. And, and on the other side, we have this um, fixed keeper here with the brush buckle with the blue shark logo right so blue shark if you don't know is uh, one of the og the original makers of this um, nylon or seat belt style strap so they started everything and others followed suit and yeah since then all of these uh, nylon straps has been they have tons of different design but yeah this is one of their the older design that I've <laughs> I've got from them, and they have also sent me a few straps, and you will you guys will find an affiliated link down below in the video description where anything that you buy from Blue Shark, I will get a little bit of commission, right? So if you guys want to get yourself in uh, an awesome strap for the money, and you want to help the channel, please do use the link down below, right? So. We have a rectangular style holes here and you can see that the thickness of this particular strap is quite chunky at about 2mm but still after you use it, it will finally break a little bit and yeah you can see that there is a bend over here so this is where I will put my uh, my the pin buckle and you can see that there is no fraying whatsoever I have I've had this for about a few years now so yeah this is a sign of quality from blueshockstraps.com right so before we put on this watch on on my 6.75 inch wrist so let's just do a quick wristwatch check today i am wearing my san martin or san martin sn008g an homage to the black bay but not necessarily the black bay 58 because this one the size is 40 millimeters and but and this one is 39 millimeters right any either way it is an awesome watch for the money right so very very nice looking wash in my opinion all right so let's put the to the black bay on this um quick release strap i think they call it quick release strap i can't remember but yeah still okay so i am on the third hole they have quite a lot of holes left so maybe people with um 7.5 inches can still use this strap and yeah check that out guys so i just love this blue uh, it's, it's it's not really that shiny, but of course it features this dark navy blue. It pairs really really well with the to the uh, blue uh, matte blue dial, right? So with this uh, aluminium uh, bezel insert, right? So let's this is strap number one, and let's go to strap number two. Right, so this is another uh, canvas. That one is uh, NATO from made from NATO material, but this one is featuring a canvas material. So I don't have the blue one, but I think the green one, the green colorway looks a little bit different, but still not that bad in my opinion. Right, so green canvas pairs really, really well with black dial and uh, blue dial for me. But if you guys don't think so, please do let me know in the comment section below. Right, so this is the Canvas Soft 2 version where they have they featured this embroidery around the hole so the previous canvas soft mid uh, strap it didn't come with this uh, embroidery so what happened was the the hole started to fray and it looks a bit ugly so this is quite a lot of improvement from the previous version right so at the back we also have this quick release pins with the embroidery on the holes for the quick release pins as well so making it much much more durable and the uh, we have uh, fixed keepers here movable keeper here with a brush blue shark sign buckle here right so so let's see how it looks on my 6.75 inches i am on the third hole so people with maybe 
um 7.5 inch wrist can still use this particular strap or even eight right so i think there's quite a lot of materials left and this adjustable keepers can you can support the extra uh, uh, balance of the strap so this is how it looks green on blue i think it works so what do you guys think so sorry guys it is quite hot here now in malaysia so that is why you see my hands a bit sweaty <laughs> i'm so sorry right so this is strap number two let's go to strap number three which is this pajama uh, strap in grey, right? So this is one of the, <laughs> the Blue Shark again is one of the first uh, maker, strap maker to produce this type of straps, right? So you can see that I have the um, grey colorway. So you can see that the holes are a bit uh, frayed. Yeah, that is, you know what, to be expected after a few years of use. And at the most importantly, the end of the strap doesn't really fray that much. So yeah, that is okay. So of course, one of the features of this pajama strap is because it is very, very stretchable. And we have a uh, movable keeper here and uh, with a fixed keeper here. And again, with a brush blue sign, uh, blue shark sign uh, buckle, right? So let's see how it looks on my on my wrist so i think this the most important thing is that this is a single pass strap so it will add much comfort to the watch because it the, the watch won't sit tall on your wrist right so i am on the fifth hole so people maybe up to eight inches can still use this particular strap but the trick is to get this thing back <laughs> right so to fold it back here you have to slide it out a bit and slide it back and boom you've got it secured properly there right so i don't know guys so slight gray i wish i have the um a darker gray version but i don't have but still if if the this you no know, yeah a darker gray would would look better on this particular watch but still i think it is not bad because this uh, lighter gray matches really well with the uh, stainless steel color of this particular watch right so this is strap number three and let's go to strap number four okay so next up is this super duper soft and supple um i can't really remember the name of this maybe they call it thin canva or thin nato or super thin i can't remember of course i will leave i will put the default the correct product description under there but yeah this is one of the oldest straps that i got from blue shark so normally blue shark produces their watch and punch the holes uh, in rectangular holes but this one features a circular holes right and the weave pattern right so you can see that it is actually not a straight gray so it has some kind of a line between it so it's not really that uh, obvious but yeah you can kind of see it but yeah that is quite unique again dark uh, sorry uh, light gray here with a movable keeper here and a fixed keeper here and with a brush blue shark straps uh, on top of the blue shark uh, sign buckle right so let's just see if i can do this behind the camera <laughs> right so this is this featuring a double pass uh, strap i could take the uh, take off the under the, the the material down below but i think because of the thickness is not that thick that is why i put i don't really mind it and yeah i think this still work on this um uh on this particular watch right so you see that i don't really have that much of materials left so that is why i tuck it back into the buckle right so you can see that it is nicely tucked there and yeah a bit of shininess of shine shiny <laughs> shiny material here so i think it plays really really nice with the polish side of the uh to the black bay right so this is strap number four and let's go to strap number five which is what blue shark calls shark fin weave right so <laughs> i have no idea why they call it that but i think i know because of this uh, unique weave pattern here on this particular strap again blue shark always uh, punch their holes in uh, rectangular fashion so still okay i've had this for about a few months now so it still haven't uh, frayed or whatsoever so but still that might happen in the future i'm not really sure but still this is a single pass strap again um fixed keeper here with a movable keeper on this side and we have a blue shucks uh brush sign buckle up top right so come on focus man focus right there it is and yeah i think this blue or dark uh, i think they call it midnight midnight colorway and with that shiny sheen pet sheen color picks plays really really nice with the blue uh the matte blue dial of the to the black bay 58 blue right so let's put it 
behind the camera let's see if i can do this as quick as possible my god this is difficult to do behind the camera guys so sorry about that yep okay so let's just put it on the so i am on the first fourth hole so yep you can see there are tons of materials left so people up to eight inches can still use this particular strap i can't really remember on top of my my head how much these things will cost you but a blue shark has this um buy two free one uh, style so where you can uh, save a little bit more money there and if you i think they they give you right what five buy five free two or free one i can't remember but they they always have that promotion on their website so please do check them out right so thank you very much joe for sending me quite a lot of straps from blue shark all this for all this is i think i've been i've started started to contact in contact with them uh maybe four or five years back and yeah they have been supporting me on this youtube channel uh, by uh, by providing me these straps for free so that is why you can see a promotion uh, promotion included a logo on before uh, at the beginning of this video right so what do you guys think of my five uh, strap selection from blue shark straps.com for this uh, to the black bay 58 i am thoroughly enjoying this awesome awesome watch i think for the money you can't really beat this to the black bay 58 right so if you guys like this kind of video please give me a thumbs up and if you want to see more future video reviews such as this one please go ahead and subscribe to my channel until next time i'll see you soon stay safe and bye bye